epic day celebrating in New York City. Right down the street from us here at Good Morning Football, the U.S. women's national team will be on floats, listening to cheers, celebrating their World Cup victory with a ticker parade. Mm. Now, before the festivities kicked off, Julie Ertz came and hung out with us, which I give her so much credit for. Waking up early in the morning, just getting back from Paris, what a whirlwind. She made a little time for us here at the breakfast table. Thank you, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Sorry, I'm, I like love the chance. So I was, uh, but thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, and congrats, of course, on winning your second straight Women's World Cup. The parade, as I said, was right here. Um, what moment are you most excited about in that parade? A place where you have a lot of experience. Um, just to really celebrate. Um, this will be my second one, which is. Unreal. Um, so I'm really excited to celebrate with the with the younger ones who've never done it before because it's so hard to put it into words. It's like just a feeling. It's so cool to see everyone just have your back, support you, cheer you, um, cheer you on, and yeah, I'm excited for it. Is there like parade advice you would give to the young ones on how to hang and how to execute or how to enjoy it? Um, don't stop waving and don't stop smiling. They, mm. I mean, literally, that's it. <laughs> that's because good. fans just keep cheering, keep cheering. The more you like, you like you know, hype them up, and that's the best part about it. A producer on our staff, and you, of course, are married to Zach Ertz, so you go to the Eagles home games, and she has season tickets. Her family does not far from where you sit in the family section with all of the Eagles fam. And she said that every week young girls come up and they knock on the wall and they try to get your attention and they've got jerseys for you to <laughs> sign, and you sign them without fail every time. What is it like to know that you are such a role model for this younger generation of boys and girls? Um, it means the world to me and our team. Like, we just want to continue to grow, obviously, women's soccer. But on top of that, just the sport of soccer in the U.S. I mean, it's given me so many amazing opportunities and something that I'm very blessed and grateful to do. Um, and I, it's still it's still crazy. Like, I, I love what I do. And so anytime, like, a kid comes up, obviously, it's super exciting to inspire them to, you know, be in my shoes one day. You're obviously a role model to young people, but I got to tell you, you and Zach are role models to married people. I'm not even kidding. This has become a thing bigger than sports, the way you support each other. Talk about it. The way it. that you're on social media, <laughs> you're at each other's games. People are seeing this and looking at it as this sign of spousal report, support and love, and I mean that in my own household. It's really cool. It's, Zach even described you as a, quote, freaking baller. <laughs> Nate, you ever been described that way? I haven't. Oh. Um, what was it like? We all saw the picture. It's so cool. What is it like when he shows up like that? And he's right there for you. I, it was, I couldn't one believe that our schedules aligned. Like the, our schedules never aligned. That he could be there from like the second game on, which mm -hmm. is insane. Um, honestly, it was really emotional. Like I've never really got a st like in the stands of such a big tournament mm. and like see Zach. And I mean, they gave family seats that were like right there. I mean, oh. row one. Like I mm. got to see him. In the national anthem, like I'm already emotional as it is, and then seeing my best friend, my number one supporter, I couldn't do what I do without him. Um, so that was just like so overwhelming. Like it was so much motivation out there. I was like, no matter what, we are winning. <laughs> That's right. Husband's Talk about see, that is so good. <laughs> There's nothing like making eye contact with the one you love in a moment like that. Yeah. Um, now you have uh, so many fans across the world, but you have said that this next fan who we're going to surprise you with is your biggest fan. We have a very special guest on the show right now. <laughs> yeah! 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 in the building! Good, Good morning! Good morning! Good morning. Look at that side by side. Look at that. How did you get him up at 7.24 a.m.? <laughs> can't even do that. Beautiful <laughs> people. Only, now, only Zach. you, love. Oh, look at oh, that. Look at that. These, the Ertz is oh, here. Look Hey, Kyle, oh, Kyle, Kyle, take notes, okay? All right, uh, Zach, now give us some perspective. You spent nearly a month in France watching the U.S. women win the World Cup. Uh, describe what it's like watching it in person. Yeah, it was crazy. I mean, uh, obviously, I've seen the work that Julie and all these girls have done for the past four years. And just being able to be over there, like Julie said, for an extended period of time, you know, our schedules rarely line up. You know, I'll have a bye week during the year and I'll be flying to Canada to go watch a soccer game instead of being on vacation. So it was just incredible to be out there for so long and see her do what she loves. And I mean, I thought she played just unbelievable the entire tournament. The way she dominated um, on the pitch was so fun to watch. And I was just so proud of her. 
I gotta ask you, Julie, if this trophy room at your house has mm -hmm. to be massive. Now you have a <laughs> Super Bowl title, two World Cups, and that's just the beginning of it. How do you two even process the fact that this is this sort of success is possible and together? I'm I think it's more like I, year by year, like, it's just, I think every single year in our career, we've gotten pers different perspective. Like, it is so much bigger than just our sport. It's it's so much of our lives. It's our journey. It, it's we, we talk about this all the time. Like, we've gone through so much adversities together and on our by ourselves that, like, in those moments, like, I've just have, we've grown so much together. And to be able to kind of support each other in that way has made us closer as just in a married couple on top of that. And to do it together is obviously hard because the biggest thing that you sacrifice um, in most things is time. Um, and we just, you know, every time we just don't want to leave with any regrets in our career. We want to um, enjoy every moment, um, even if that means we, you know, have to do it on FaceTime most of the time and miles away. Um, but we're just, yeah, we just love what we do and um, are very grateful. And it's kind of fun to be able to, we started dating in college. So before our careers, um, you know, kind of manifested and, um, you know, it was fun to kind of do it together. It's been step by step. So it's humble beginnings. That's the best. That's awesome. All right. So, Zach, you have been if you're still there, you've been on the biggest of stages. You've been in the Super Bowl in a shootout against the Patriots, scored a huge touchdown in that game. So my question to you is, what is more nerve wracking, those huge moments on the field with the Eagles or watching your wife on the field with her team? Mm. Oh, definitely watching my wife. I mean, uh, when I'm playing, I feel like I have some semblance of control out there. You know, I feel like if I play well, we got a good chance to win. Um, but I'm, when I'm watching Julie in the stand, it's like I'm just there like everyone else, hoping that, A, she stays healthy, uh, and B, that they win. Um, and being in the stands is an unbelievable thing. Um, but it's definitely more nerve-wracking being up there when it's one-to-one -one in the 85th minute, seeing how this game is going to end because – I know my week is going to be dictated about how, pretty much how the game ends. Um, so, it, it, so, so it's definitely more nerve-wracking watching. That's incredible. Zach, you're the best. Thank you. Julie, what do you, what do you think? Ask, respond to Zach. Is it more nerve-wracking you being out there and you got to make a play or when Zach is out there and it's third and nine and Carson's looking for him and they got to move the chains? When they're out there. Yeah. Honestly, usually I'm pretty fine. Like, I love the Eagles. I love the guys. I, like, love their vibe that they have all the time. So I, I love being there. But, uh, yeah, nothing will be as nervous ever in comparison of being at the Super Bowl. Literally, I, I've i never sweat so much in my palms <laughs> in my entire life. Because <laughs> it was freezing there. But, yeah. like, I was burning up of yeah. just, like, excitement. And, it was, yeah, it was an amazing experience. I love Incredible. it. We've got to say bye to Zach. I'll let you say bye to your husband. <laughs> bye, time. babe. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> So, I don't want to let her go. I don't no. know why we let her she go. She was awesome. No, she put she her in the trigger seat. It was the first time she went to sleep since they won. <laughs> right. How about that for a world tour? Imagine.